Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Today I want to highlight the new hero, Tavish. And Tavish is one of the most ridiculous, one of the most broken, one of the most infuriating heroes to play against in all of Battlegrounds. And it's kind of a shame um, because his hero power is actually really cool. His hero power increases in damage as the turn progresses. So turn 1 does 1 damage, turn 2 does 2 damage, and so on. And you can choose loosely the targets that you hit with your hero power. And you can hit the rightmost, the highest uh, health uh, or the lowest health or actually are those the three options I don't think there's a leftmost option I think those are the three options anyway your goal is actually just to think about what your opponent might have divine shield on and not hit that because if you hit divine shield the buddy which puts stats just for combat on the minions adjacent to it based on how much damage you dealt. So if you deal 10 damage, it's going to buff the left and right most of the buddy by plus 10 plus 10 for that combat. And it, if you hit a divine shield, it'll hit for nothing. So it doesn't really matter what you hit a lot of the time. Sometimes it does, but you'll figure out the exceptions. It usually doesn't matter too much. You just have to think about not hitting a divine shield. If you hit a divine shield, you will get wrecked. And getting wrecked is not good because playing this hero is super easy. And it's super easy because of Terragosa. Terragosa keeps the combat buffs. And, I mean, there's really not much else to say. Tavish, if you play him with Terragosa, is quite possibly the strongest hero in the game. Even after the recent changes of Terragosa moving at the Tavern 4. Doesn't really matter because usually when you get your first Terragosas and start scaling those stats with your buddy... Your hero power is not doing that much damage. The, the the real bulk of the stats happen a little bit more as the late as as the game progresses, as the hero power ramps up in stats. So um, honestly, I, I I think Tavish might be one of, if not still, the best hero in the game. That's why I hate him. He's just way too good. It's way too consistent. It's way too oppressive. Um, but you know what? This video is to show you what's happening in battlegrounds right now and if you're one of those achievement hunters you probably want to get an easy first place with tavish as long as this build stands enjoy yeah i know i know finley is cool but i gotta do tavish because dragons are in and i gotta get my achievement done okay this is important the sniper is something that you can set it's a dynamic power we'll use it just a second, be patient. It is time to bring your A game. No, this really doesn't matter. Um, sure, we'll hit the lowest health enemy for one. I have one with Drek'dar and Brucon. Yes. I am sending you back in three, two. Okay. Uh, I got a question for you, D2 bros. In in Lord of Destruction, why don't sorceresses go energy shield? Isn't it good? Murlocs, Elemental, Quillbore. I mean, that's that's a fair set of cards. Mana bug. Oh, what is the mana burn bug? Mana burn is OP. No rest for the weary here. What is what is the bug? So my hero power should supersede his. Now he got wrecked. Mana burn takes like 256% more mana than it's supposed to. Oh. I didn't know that. Let's hit lowest health. Oh, 512 times. Oh, shit. Okay. On build, looks fine. It's missing that uh, monstrous macaw though. Can slow you down.
sick. Three seventeen self cast lead finally. Are you sure about that? Sucks. Let's get the highest health. You really think PoE 317 is going to be self-cast league? That's bold, bold of you to assume. They buffed, uh, they buffed things that, uh, like they buffed Ice Trap. People are playing Ice Trap already. Just Seismic Trap was like 10% stronger. It's going to play Ice Trap. They nerfed Detonate Dead very slightly, but it was completely busted. So people are just going to play that. With great power comes great yeah, I saw the attack he's done. again. are super easy to go crit. I don't think that keystone is particularly good. I think that keystone is for like juggernauts because they get tons of free accuracy. It's like literally just juggernauts. I think everything else is like it's just not gonna be overpowered. It's like okay. With great power comes great win rates. See, yeah, I made it. Wow. Turn five, dazzling, and it lives. Basically, race to get Terragoses. After your hero power fires, give adjacent minion stats equal to the damage dealt. So right now we deal six damage. So Terragosa gets plus six, plus six, forever. Freeze the four four. Nah. Basically, we we stacked like uh, Ragnaros hero power. This hero is really good, but you generally do want the um, the dragons in. Without the dragons, the fact that it's just temporary. It's not bad, but it's not it's not amazing. You have unlocked your true potential. God, this is so degenerate. They snipe the garbage. I think these are going to die very easily. Go to the rightmost minion. Yeah, Mr. Blonde, uh, I think Dunna Dead still might be the strongest self-cat skill in the game. Trappers are fine, you don't have to use the trap gems. Ethereal Knives sucks. No one uses Ethereal Knives. People only use Ethereal Knives with the Ring of Blades jewel, which makes it into a Nova. 
the the changes for ethereal knives is jubate because they're like oh we're gonna make it so much better also that jewel that you need to actually make it playable we're literally removing it from the game which is what they did so yeah enjoy enjoy casting ek in the form of like a short range freeze pulse no rest for the weary hero nice I got destroyed, dude. I mean, I guess that's a triple, but I don't know if I really want it. Ah, eh, fuck it. Let's... Maybe I should have taken the, the whelp smuggler actually. Yeah, maybe I should have. Why don't you hire a new recruit? Oh, this would be pretty good too. Galakrond. Let's do the right mouse. Just snipe that shit every turn. Actually, are there mechs? No, there's no mechs. Okay. Sometimes the right most is an anti-cleave divine shield, right? And that's, that's kind of bad if I hit that. Nothing can slow you down. Severance package there. If I get my golden buddy, we're gonna be in really good shape. Probably might not. Nothing can slow you down. Crazy early elementals. Is that 99 or some shit? 97, damn it. Ran action. It's tempting to keep that. Okay, I'm gonna keep that. Fang has less stats. Sure. But it's close because the Murloc is just a little health. The reason I've been doing what I'm doing is when I triple the Krabby, I can sell the spawn. And then before I play the Krabby again, I can play a bunch of battle cries, which is what I stumbled into. So my plan's kind of working out. And because I'll have Bran, I might be able to finish with a really good Amalgadon. You are doing super! Nice. 
He doesn't die, though. Could have. He had either Paragus at the very end, though, he would have died. That goes the hand, and now we can do this play here. Who knows what secrets will Heroes must go for. Another ambitious recruit. My seal for honor. That will hit the dragons, which is pretty good. Um, Stargle isn't bad. Oh, that's a beast. Oh, that's a beast. Oh, shit. You did what had to be done. I'll upon you. Trust in the light. Harness your rage. Keep it Order's kind of bad, but that's all right. Good. Yeah. But, uh, huh. Thing is, they already have Divine Shield. On four. Okay, we go the right most. Here goes the first to regain Divine Shield. I mean, I would, um, I'd do that once I drop the Light Fang. But I think it's better to just get rid of the Light Fang. It's not like my other cards are weak. My other cards are very decent. You are doing super! Oh. No things for you. This is slow scaling with this hero. What? It's turn 12 and they have 100 stacks. They're not golden. And have had almost no other scaling. What are you talking about? I kinda doubt that's worth it though. 100 in stats is good enough. This will be plus 4. Not really worth it. Um. <sighs> it's not bad. I mostly just want like golden amalgadon, to be honest with you guys. That's the only thing I'd really entertain. Yeah, you know, that's the only thing I'd consider. Light Fang is plus six plus six. The buff Drake can't hit both Terragosas successfully, so Yeah. So the aim right now, because I think I'm quite strong, all I'm doing is trying to not hit a divine shield with it. If I hit a divine shield with it, I get nothing.
thinking maybe Argus on the on the Terragosas might be good, but eh, fuck. I want Amalgadons. Where are they? Three Quillbore? Why does he have three Quillbore? I'll hit the lowest again, because, um, I think, uh, I think his lowest card at least doesn't hit one of my Divine Shields. Oh, you think he has all the Amalgadons? He did the transition play. No, he was, a, he started Elemental, he had a lot of Elemental Scaling. That's actually terrifying if he has all the Amalgadons. If he pulled that off, I'm in real trouble. What is his buddy? His buddy is a Quillbore. Oh, it'd have to be a Quillbore. Oh, he did not get all the Amalgadons. Yes, the Divine Shield is pretty lucky with those. Sure, that's a good idea. Alright, I'm gonna try it. It would be something like this, though. Let's do the right one. You are doing super. Achievement. So easy. Non-golden Terragos and no other scaling. 180 with Divine Shield. Just from Hero Power. Kinda stupid. And yeah, if you're curious if this hero is good without dragons, he's not. <laughs> 